Greetings. In this video, we'll be running a Pudget After Effects benchmark and comparing the performance between Ryzen 2700X and 3700X. And also, we'll be showing how to run the benchmark itself. So, um, when you download the benchmark, we'll, you'll get a zip file. You'll open it and you'll find a Pidget Benchmark app After Effects file. When you launch the After Effects uh, Benchmark file, you'll get a window like this. Uh, before running the benchmark, you have to make some changes to the After Effects. Okay, so let's change our settings. Go to the Edit, then Preferences, then go to the Scriptings and Expressions. Check Allow Scripts to Write, Files and Access Network. Next, go to Media Disk and Cache and remove Enable Disk Cache. We will not need Disk Cache for the test. For the third part, uh, says Spacebar Preview to play once. Uh, you have to go to the Preview pane. Uh, you can enable it here. Uh, view, Preview or Control 3. And you'll have to change this icon to this. It should look like that. Um, and after this, you have to restart the After Effects because it won't work otherwise. And finally, to run the benchmark, go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, and select the budget benchmark CSX bin file. Click Open. You will get a window prompt and then just wait it'll take uh, probably like 20 30 minutes or so so be patient so the benchmark finished and we have the result let's do them side by side here we go okay let's slide on this side so this is uh, ryzen 3000 and ryzen 2000 as you can see the score is higher Tracking score score is higher. Render score is actually lower, but I think it's dependent on GPU probably. Because preview score and tracking score are higher. So yeah, it's this uh, system has RTX 2060 and this has GTX 1070 Ti. 3D camera tracker faster, warp stabilize also faster. Okay, so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and of course like this video and if you have any questions about the benchmark, just leave a comment.